Hundreds of people packed a church in Oakland this afternoon for a town hall meeting with Senator Kamala Harris. She touched on everything from health care to education and immigration. Senator Kamala Harris greeted a crowd of roughly 800 people here for her town hall meeting, and she addressed the crowd by saying, This moment in time is challenging. But this is a moment in time that is challenging us to fight. Senator Kamala Harris returned home to Oakland, greeted by a diverse crowd. They packed the pews at Beebe Memorial Cathedral in the Temescal District for her second town hall. I like a sense of reassurance that my voice is being heard in Washington. I want to hear her say that, hey, she's going to keep fighting this son of a gun that's running this country. I'm hoping that, that she will come out and in favor of health care for all. So let's look at where we are. Harris spoke on a variety of topics, including health care, education, immigration, and elections. She told the audience she intends to co-sponsor the Medicare for All bill. She denounced homophobia, sexism, and racism. And she defended DACA. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program allows reprieve from deportation to undocumented youth. President Trump is considering repealing the program. I love that she talks about DACA and she talks about also supporting Medicaid. We're looking at a situation where 10 attorneys general, state attorneys general, all Republicans, are threatening to sue the United States government if the president does not rescind DACA. The message was especially important for Daisy Carrillo. She's a DACA recipient and a fourth year student at UC Santa Cruz, concerned about the program possibly ending. After my four years in college, what am I going to do if I won't be able to exercise my degree? I'm a politics major, so hopefully one day I'll be in her seat. And, you know, we're just hoping for the best right now for our community as a whole. Harris left the church about 30 minutes ago when we were able to catch up with her briefly. We're working to bring you that part of her interview coming up at 7 on KTVU+.